Right, so welcome to this class. As you can see, we've got some pictures around the walls, right? So what I'm going to ask you to do, you're going to work with a partner, two, two, and two. I'd like you just to walk around and write down what is the name of the transport and where do you think this transport is? What country would this transport be, for example? Okay, all right. Okay, so could you two just start over there? You two can start behind you, and you two can start this side, and we're going to move around okay. this way, okay? You finished? Yeah. Okay, you guys can sit down. Thank you. You finished? Good. Okay, ready? Sakio, thank you. Okay, so let's check our answers and your ideas, see if we've got the same. Let's start with this one. Any ideas what that's called, that mode of transport? What do you think? Nice, electric skate. Okay, it's a good idea, but no, it's not called electric skate. It's got a particular name, okay? It's called Segway. Segway, right? Um, where do you think you would see this, Yazid? Europe. What do you think? America, definitely. I've seen this in Boston. Where have you seen it, Sakio? Turkey. In Turkey, okay. Where else? In Switzerland. Switzerland, everywhere, everywhere right? Yeah. Everywhere, okay. Um, okay, let's go to the one at the back, Mohammed. This is uh, from the UK. Particularly from UK. Yeah. Specifically, what city? Uh, what city, London? Yeah, London. It's famous in London, but of course we have them all yeah. over the country, right? What do you call that? Taxi. It is a taxi. There's a particular name that people use for that, though. What color is it? Black. black. Okay, so it's... You can black say cab. Black, black cab or black taxi, that's black. okay. All right, okay, thank you. Um, Keiko, what about the next one? Coach. Okay, coach. coach. Yeah, there's another word for coach. Oh, bus. Oh, bus, right. Okay, it's a very different type of bus. We don't see this kind of bus in UK, right? So... India? India? Yeah, actually this country is Pakistan. Oh, yeah, nice. so they have, they paint their buses, make them look very beautiful. Okay, um, Mita, what about the next? Uh, Vespa. Vespa or? Yeah, it's a, or a scooter. Yes, a scooter. But you mean Vespa. It's a, yeah, exactly. That's the make. The make is Vespa yeah. and it's a scooter. Okay, we see the there? Yes, other countries as well, but there are many, many in Italy, right? That's a beautiful one. It's made of wood. Okay, um, uh, let's go to you, Odrik. What do you think for the next one? I don't know the word, but I think it's a scooter taxi. A scooter taxi, yeah, nice idea. What do you think? Doctor. Yeah, okay. Doctor. Lots of people call them tuk-tuks. Sometimes they can be called rickshaws as well, but electric anyway. Um, Odrik, where do you think you might find that tuk-tuk? India. India? Any other countries? Yeah, Thailand. Thailand. Thailand, they have yeah. quite a lot. Okay. All right. Uh, Mohammed, to you again. What do you think about the other one? Uh, Italia. Uh, do you know the word? What is the name yeah, of that transport? Uh, train. It's a kind of train. Kind of it's a tram, yeah. yeah. A tram, right. Where do you think you would see that? Italia. Italy? Yeah. Mm, yeah? yeah. What Milan. other countries? Milan. Milan. Milan, okay, yeah? France. France, yes. we, we have, have some. Water. Okay. Sometimes when I see trams, I think of San Francisco, you know, in the States. Uh, in Edinburgh. In? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Yes. Right. Okay, they've got some there, yeah. 
Okay, fine. Let's go to this one. Uh, Keiko, what do you think? You're not sure. What country do you think? India. Probably India, right? Okay, now these two, they look similar, right? But actually, they're not really called the same name. What's the difference with these? Uh, one, you, you drive and the other, you run. You drive, like that one, the tuk-tuk? No, What's the word we can use for those? You bike. Yeah. You bike, you cycle, yeah? You ride, yeah, yeah. you ride a bike. Okay, it's got wheels. This one, he's pulling it, right? Okay, so this one is called a pedicab. Pedicab, yeah. And what do we think about this one? Mohammed, do you remember this name? Not so much. What do you think, Zakir? Yes, okay, I'm going to help you with that pronunciation. Okay, this is called a rickshaw. rickshaw. Let's say it again. What's rickshaw? Rickshaw. rickshaw. So it's like a rah, 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 rickshaw. rickshaw. We can't say for, uh, we can't say for this rickshaw. That is also a rickshaw, but that's an electric rickshaw, yeah. and many people call it a tuk-tuk, just, uh, yeah. you know. But you, you're right, that's also a rickshaw. But this is, this is the original rickshaw, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's do that again. Rickshaw. Rickshaw. Okay, nice. Okay. Right, we're going to focus on this one. Okay, the rickshaw. Okay, we've got two questions here. Why do people choose the rickshaw in India? And are there any advantages to using this transport? Okay. You don't have to write the question down. Don't worry about writing. I want you to talk. Okay. So talk together, two and two. See if you can answer these questions. Okay, I'm getting your ideas. Let's see. Keiko, what did you two talk about? What do you think? Yeah. Why do people choose the rickshaw? I think uh, it's cost uh, cheaper than other scooter. Yeah, yeah, so it's cheaper. Uh, Keiko was trying to say it's cheaper than other... We need a phrase there. Other, Other transport. There's a word that we can use as well. We can say modes. Modes of, right? What's a synonym? What's another word like modes? Price. Price? No. Less? No. So Keiko's sentence was, this is cheaper then other modes of transport, other modes, other types, uh, other types of trans transport. But modes kind of goes, it goes together nicely with transport, modes of transport, okay? Okay, that's true. So it's cheaper, nice. Some other ideas, what do you think? Uh, safe. Safe, okay. Not really. I think it's not really safe. We have to think about whether it's safe. We're not so sure about safe. Because they're on the road, maybe there's lots of buses, lots of the other tuk-tuks maybe. Okay, we'll, we'll think about that. Okay, but it's cheap. What do you think? You have uh, more place to take uh, anything in peace. Yeah. Uh, the other transport, you have more space. Okay, you okay, so you've got more space to put some suitcases and yeah. things on there, okay. You don't need to stop with the signal. 
and you, you don't, uh, we don't uh, have any traffic with this. You just go where you want to go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. What do you think, Yazid? Yeah. Traditional uh, transport for India. Right. It's traditional. Many, many people like this mode of transport. And yeah. Some people they want uh, help who drive uh, this rickshaw. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Any ideas from you, Sakio? Mm -hmm. That's true. There's a lot of traffic jam, right? Lots of traffic, so it might be easier to use that, that transport. Okay, let's erase this. Okay, right. Um, I want to just look at some words quickly. When we think of, okay, you said there's a lot of transport here. What's a word we can use when there's lots of, crowded. lots of cars, yeah, it's crowded. Another word? Traffic. Yeah, maybe lots of people, lots of cars. It's very busy, busy. nice. Okay, when it's busy, what's the sound? Noisy. 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 What's the opposite of noisy? Quiet. Nice. Okay. Do you, which one do you think is, listen to this, safe for pedestrians? Pedestrians. Pedestrians are people who ride cars, who drive cars, or who walk? Walk. walk. Pedestrians are people who walk. Okay. So which one is safe for pedestrians? This one. Do you think this one? Yeah. Yeah? They've got... Do we call this a road? Is this a road? No. Everywhere. What do we call this? It's a path with a th. Yeah, path. It's a path. Okay, so it's safe for pedestrians. Okay. Right. So let's think about. If it's very busy and it's very noisy and there are lots of traffic, um, what do you think happens? What is the air like? Evaporation. Hmm? Evaporation, no. Yeah, like clouds, there's lots. Is the air fresh? Not healthy. Yeah. So what's uh, pollution is the noun. It is... Pollu, we need the adjective, polluted, nice. Which place do you think would be polluted? Taxi. Which place? Ah, Not place. the mode of transport, ah, the place. Uh, do you think London is polluted? Yes, London mm. is polluted. Okay, okay. Which is the most polluted? What do you India. think? India. Maybe India with Pakistan. the air. Maybe Pakistan with the buses, lots of buses. Okay. Okay, and one more word. Let me think. Okay, if there are lots of people in a city, what's a word we can use or some, some words we can use to describe that? If there's a lot of people, it's very Populated. crowded. What? Nice. Populated, right? And we use it together called with highly populated. It is highly populated. Let me show you. Okay. Do you think a, a city or a village is highly populated? Which city, one? City. A city. Mohammed, what is your city? Your city, what, where do you? Doha. Doha. Is it highly populated? Yes. Yeah. Lots of cars, lots of people. Yes. Okay. What about you, Keiko? Is your place highly populated? Keiko is, uh, Keiko is highly populated. Very highly populated. Right, right. Does anybody else live in a highly populated area or? Uh, 
low pop low. you live in a low yeah. okay maybe in a small city a small city right do you have a lot of pollution there not really not so much what about in tokyo is your place your city is it polluted my city is uh, not polluted not so uh, polluted yeah, i live in this city so local engineer so okay it's not low it's, it's lower Low populated. Okay, what about you, Yazid? I live in a low populated. A low populated area, yeah? yeah? Okay. Uh, a little town? No, it's a big town, actually. And uh, there, there are the, a lot of farm, and uh, the farm helps to fresh uh, the, the air and the weather. You got some fresh air. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Right, we're focusing on one area in India today. We're going to do a reading. And the city is Kolkata. Kolkata, yeah. Have you heard of this? It used to be called Kolkata, but now it's Kolkata. Right? You've heard it? Yeah. Yeah? It's uh do you what are some other cities in India that you know? Dubai. Not India, that's not India. India in India. In India. Delhi, yes, 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 Bombay, Goa, Mohammed knows his India, okay, yeah, okay, exactly, areas of India. So, Kolkata is a city in India in the west, okay, and this is where we find lots of rickshaws, okay, right, I'm going to give you your books, there you go, don't read yet, hold on. Okay, everybody, we've got some words on the board, yeah? These green words. I want Just read the first paragraph. I want you to find which of these words do you see in this paragraph, okay? Okay, let's get your ideas. Um, Yazi, yeah, what do you think about busy? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? What did you find in the text uh, that helps you know about if it's busy? I think you're saying uh, here the sound never stops from morning to night. Okay, stop there. The sound never stops from morning till night. Yeah. Is that busy? Noisy. Okay, that's good. So we've got noisy. Thank you. All right, Sakio, what about what about busy? What tells us it's busy? In, in the morning, with long lines of private cars and buses, taxis, and scooters. Lots of scooters, lots of transport. Very, very right. Very busy. Okay. Okay. Odrik, what else do you think? I think it's uh, polluted. Does it tell you anything in there about polluted? Um, and engine fumes. 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 Lots of nice words, isn't it? Let's put it there. Okay, so it's polluted. These fumes, where do they come from? Cars. From cars, cars yeah. Cars. So the fumes come out of the cars, and that's what makes the air polluted. Yeah, right, okay. Okay, do you have anything else on our list? Highly Probably, yeah, it's very busy, very noisy. We think it's highly populated. Okay. The home of nearly 15, 15 million people. 15 million, amazing. Mm. Massive, massive city. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at the next stage. Okay, we're going to look at this, this, uh, these questions here. Okay, now I'd like you the second and the third paragraph, this one and this one. So do not read the last paragraph, okay? You can cover that. Um, which of these arguments 
in favor of rickshaws, the arguments in favor, the arguments in favor are like the, what, the ad, advantages, no, the advantages of rickshaws. What does, what is mentioned in paragraph two and paragraph three? Okay, so just read this, please. Read the questions first. What is James? Mm, that's a good question. So it goes together with traffic. Let's put it here. Traffic jams. Um, Yazid, what do you think this could be? Traffic jams. It's the first question, isn't it? They are better in traffic jams. Maybe faster traffic. Hmm. Okay. Go through the small street. Okay, okay. The traffic jams are. Long lines, right, exactly. Long lines of traffic, buses, cars, pedicabs, okay. Traffic jams. If, it, if you're stuck in a traffic jam, are you moving forward? No, no. You're just staying still, right? Okay, so are they better in traffic jams? What about the other ones? Down Number six says um, they always travel during monsoons. When, when um, you have a bad time, a bad uh, weather, you have a lot of water. A lot of rain, right? Yeah. A lot Before of rain. rain. Okay. Okay, everybody, when you give me your answers, I want you to tell me where you find it in the text, okay? So check together with your partners. Okay. Okay, let's get your answers. Um, yes, Eve, can you give me the first one? What do you think? Uh, for the second paragraph, I think uh, the first one, uh, they are better in traffic jumps. What does it say? Uh, the driver, uh, sorry, uh, yeah. When the traffic is bad, rickshaws find a way through the traffic. Very good, perfect. So yes, that number one is mentioned. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sakia, what about two? Is it mentioned? Yeah, I, I'm not sure, but uh, then he wrote for the quarters to appear outside your home and help you on No. Not. No. I disagree. We don't really, it doesn't say anything about going down small streets, I think. Mm -hmm. But yes, you're right. It, it, they do stop outside people's houses, so a little bit unsure with that one. Okay. All right. Audric, what do you think about three? They don't mention it. They yeah. don't mention pollution? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you agree? Yeah? Okay, it's not mentioned. Okay. Uh, Mohammed, number four. They are very good for uh, shopping. shopping. No uh, other uh, type of uh, public transport offers this kind of service. What kind of service? What kind of service is that talking about? Uh, good for shopping. Okay. There's another sentence before that, though. Uh, yeah. The driver takes you from your house to the market and wait for you. Then he lets all your purchases drop you off outside, outside your home and helps you unload. That's true. And before that it says rickshaws are also very popular with local mm -hmm. shoppers. So definitely that's mentioned. Yeah. Okay, um, meet the next one. Don't speak about this. They're cheaper than other yeah. public transport? Don't speak. Mm, no. No mentions. No, it's no. not mentioned. Okay, Sakio. 
number six. What did they say? Yeah. Also, see lots more people getting on and off with the show during the monsoon season. During the monsoon, very good. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, so the last thing we have to do here. Uh, Why don't local officials and politicians ban rickshaws? Choose the correct reason. Okay, check. What do you think? One, two, or three? One. I think uh, three. You think three? Yeah. Two. You think one? Yeah, Zid, what is your one as well? Zakir, what do you think? One. Number one. Okay, you're outvoted, Mohammed. You're outvoted. I think it's one, yeah? So, Yes, it might be true the drivers don't want to go back to the countryside. Maybe that's true, yeah. But really, they, the politicians can't ban them because there isn't much employment. They'll have nothing else to do if they don't drive these rickshaws. Okay. Okay. Um, but look at the title. Last Days of the Rickshaw. Do you think eventually these people will not be allowed to to drive the rickshaw? No. I think uh, it's not possible. Because I think now it's uh, in, uh, in this culture. Mm -hmm. I mean, this job, and uh, it's very, very uh, on uh, bad, this, uh, this culture. But don't you think it's bad for these yeah, people to bad, pulling? What do you think? Yeah, it's very bad, but. Uh, and now I, when I read this, you cannot read when everywhere, and you cannot read when the weather is good, when the weather is not good, because maybe when you have a monsoon, you cannot read the transport public. You the cannot. You can't. You can't. Trans uh, use, use, use. 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 Right. Use. Okay. The taxi or the car, and. Uh, you, but you must go to sh uh, sh the market or, or your job. Okay, okay. So I think uh, if they uh, didn't use the rickshaw, uh, the people who drive the rickshaw, I mean, they will not have a job. That's true. That's, that sounds like it's true. Okay, so the politicians in the city, they want to ban the rickshaws yes. because they say it's not... It's not good for this, these men to be yeah. pulling other people, right? Yeah. But the people in the city might have a different idea. Yeah. Let's see, we've got some ideas here. I want you to tell me what ideas, or what words, what sentences do you think the people in the city say about this transport? No. They shouldn't be on the roads? No. They represent our city. Yeah. Maybe? maybe. Yeah, maybe. They represent. Just like the black cabs yeah. represent London, yeah. when you think of London, what do you think of? Black cabs, red buses, yeah, this, Big Ben, yeah, yeah. those represent, represent London. Do you think the people would say the yeah, rickshaws maybe. represent our city? Maybe. It's like, yeah. okay. <coughs> Rickshaw drivers always blow their horns so loudly. Beep, 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 beep. No, no, no. Not so much. No. Which which oh. transport would have horns? Taxis. Right. Yeah, the taxis, the no. buses. Okay. Rickshaws are cruel, cruel, no. unkind, no. No. bad for people. Maybe not. not, maybe not. not too. They are very useful for day-to-day -day life. Yeah. Not really. 
probably. The people would say that. Okay, and the last one. You can never find a rickshaw when you need one. Why don't you think so? Yazid, why? Rickshaws, a lot of rickshaws, right? So if they need one, they can just flag it down. Okay. Maybe you, here you say when you don't need a transport, you need a rickshaw. Yeah, if you can't find anything else, you just get a rickshaw. Okay, so we think this one, mm, this one, and maybe this one? Okay. Why you stick? You can never find. Sorry. You can find, yeah, good, good. Okay, um, right. I'm going to swap you. Adric, can you swap with Mohammed, please? Uh, Move places. You need your notebook and your pen. Okay, so we've got a table of three and a table of three. You're going to work together. Please, can you get your notebooks and draw a line down the middle? I want two columns, okay? Two columns, so draw a line down the middle of your page. Okay, in the left-hand column, you can write four. The right-hand column, against. Okay, for and against. Okay, with the people on your table, I want you to think of some arguments, okay? Why should we keep the rickshaws in Kolkata for? And why should we ban the rickshaws in Kolkata against? Okay, so write some ideas, talk together, five minutes. Go. Okay, you've, you've all got a lot of good ideas for four, the rickshaw. Think of some against now, okay? It goes together, humanitarian ground. So, yeah, so humanitarian, it's talking about the best thing for people. Yeah. And they don't, they want to ban it on humanitarian grounds because of, yeah. Okay. So, let's see the whole sentence. Politicians want to ban rickshaws on humanitarian grounds. So, um, grounds is kind of like um, because of, on the basis of, um, um, yeah. And humanitarian is for the best thing for people, yeah. So it's kind of like they they want to ban rickshaws because of. It's the best thing for people because they want people to be safe, they want people to be healthy, um, etc. Yeah. Humanitarian means for humans. Yeah, yeah. The best, the best situations for humans. Yeah, yeah. Right, I want you to move around because we're going to make a big team, okay? So, um, Yazid and Keiko, can you come and sit over here? Keiko, you can use this chair. Yazid, can you bring, bring a chair over there, please? You're okay.
You can just, yeah, come in a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's put the books away. We don't need the books anymore. But you need your notes. Yeah. Okay. Right, I'm going to give each one of you a role, okay? One, a role, yeah. One of you, for example, will be a taxi driver. Not a rickshaw driver, a taxi driver, maybe in a tuk-tuk or something else, okay? One of you will be a foreign tourist in the city. Maybe you're from your countries, you're going to come there to Kolkata, okay? Uh, one of you will be a rickshaw driver. One of you will be a politician, a local politician in the city. Do you want rickshaw drivers or not? No. Not, okay. And one of you will be like this guy, somebody who uses a rickshaw for shopping, okay? okay. All right, so let me give your role to you. You're a taxi driver. You are a local police. Okay. Okay. So you came together. You're foreign tourists, okay? Okay. So I'd like you just to spend just a few minutes to think, maybe write down some ideas about who you are, okay? What, is, what are your thoughts about rickshaws, okay? And you're going to talk together to debate should we have rickshaws or shouldn't we have rickshaws? What do you think? Okay. So just one minute, write down some, some ideas. Politician. So you are like in the government, in the government, but only for your city. Okay. You are a local politician. Do you like rickshaws or not? What, do you like it or not? Mm, no, you don't like it because you want to modernize Kolkata. You want to make Kolkata new with trams and new transport. You don't want the old things anymore, okay? So you need to, you need to think about, do you have your for and against? Where's your notes, for and against? Okay, so you need to think about these arguments, okay? okay. Mohammed, what's your idea? Do you like rickshaws or not? In, in the city? Mm. When you're driving your taxi, are there lots of rickshaws coming in the way? It's bad for me. It's bad for you, right? Yeah, because I can't. Uh, yeah. I can drive, I drive, I can see there's so many uh, rickshaws. Exactly, in exactly. In the, in the so you don't want them. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. And to see that too. Okay. What do you think, foreign tourists? Do you like the rickshaws or not? Yeah. You think it's okay? I, yeah, because I want, uh, maybe I want to see the, the typical uh, transport mm. in this place. Okay. And uh, I want to use it. Okay. And, uh, what about you, Keiko? Uh, do you like, do you think it's, it's good for the... Uh, uh, rickshaws are very uh, useful for people <laughs> in uh, India, but I, I don't like, I don't like to ask to ride mm -hmm. because uh, they are... They are very, uh, their work is very, uh, very okay, tough. good, okay, so, yeah. you can give your arguments, mm, yeah. okay. Okay, everybody, so you're going to, are you ready? This is a speaking activity, I want you to talk together, take your role, you need to decide, are the rickshaws in Calcutta good or bad? Should we keep them or should we say, no, we don't want them anymore, okay. All right, so talk together. What do you think? I'm a rickshaw driver in Calcutta, so it is important for me because uh, I have not gotten any kind of job in my country, in my city, so that's why I came in Calcutta and I got the job.
represent the city and uh, you can you every every time and it's more far I think it's more fast for a tax taxi or bus because they don't have traffic jams and uh, it's not no it's not um, not, uh, it don't made uh, a lot of humus. Ah, yeah. ah. It's very green. It's mm. very green. Yeah, yeah, right. But you see before the paper is I think it's very hard from this job, but represent the city. Okay. Uh, I'm a lot of Russian who wants to migrate to Kolkata. And I think uh, the rickshaw is bad for the body drivers and the drivers, they work like a slaves for other humans who use the rickshaw. Yeah, but you know, I have some pains back and I need to help people when I do shopping to help me to take the bags on my house. Uh, because when I with some books, some food, some some things. I can't uh, all take this and I need the rickshaw driver to help me in, to take in my house and they and he go and she go to my house to Okay in this case they are like a slave. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, then go by the taxi and take your daughter or uh, your son. But uh, when I come back in my house, my son and my daughter are in school, so I can't use it. Okay, in Kakota, there's uh, some people works like uh, who take your bags and uh, walk behind you and take your bags. They don't take all right. When you uh, get off the taxi, ask people to help you. Yeah, but if I take a taxi, it's okay. more expensive than I take a rickshaw. It's really cheaper. Okay, now you think I'm, about I'm your not, money. I'm not rich. I'm just, a, I'm just a worker. My wife is tired and I need my work to help my son and my daughter. So if I take all, all the day taxi, I can be 
No money. Idea. Anybody else? Anybody else? <laughs> no, it's me and the politician. <laughs> <laughs> What, you're the rickshaw driver. Yeah, what do yeah. you think? Um, uh, as a rickshaw driver, as a driver, I I wanted to use the, my rickshaw, but if I'm not a driver, I agree with the politician because uh, the the people, uh, the uh, local people who. They also have the many choice to instead of uh, use picture. So okay. They think about it I said I need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, help me. Once people help me, why <laughs> all of this? But there, there are other uh, transportation like uh, train, the uh, taxi, and uh, yeah. and you should. Uh, but, but you should think about uh, train. drivers. Train or tram is it's, it's quite good because they are not really expensive. But they don't take me to my house in the in the place I want to go. They took me at bus stop, bus stop. They don't they don't take me in my house. In, yeah, it's oh. better. Wow, we've I got just, some. I just help help my hand in the come. It's really good. When I need. Uh, rickshaw, it can It's perfect for me. Some really good points. Some good points. Okay. So, so all right. So, who's going to win? Do you think the politician or the shopper. the shopper? shopper. shopper. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why, Mito? Why do you think the shopper? Because, because uh, a reason because uh, maybe it's uh, old old people take uh, a rickshaw because don't have uh, a lot of money. Oh, yeah. And uh, when go to markets or shop or made a shopping for uh, for the house, the tax driver don't take these things, every the food or the other things at home. Yeah. Okay. The rickshaw people, yeah. It's it's convenient, right? Yeah. Convenient yeah. for the and for the uh, shoppers and the people, right? Because the drivers people, the con taxi dr uh, driver, uh, go on only in the street. Yeah. But rickshaw go. On in the street, but a small street yeah. where the taxi can go to drive. That's true, and that's true. Drive. So keep working hard, yeah, but, but politician. I, <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. I, I think if, if I uh, care for, uh, about my uh, health, I use uh, the taxi. I don't care about the money, and cheap or uh, expensive. Yeah, but uh, when yeah. you use taxi, you are uh, a lot of times in traffic jams. You are a lot of time in taxi jams and after you must pay because you stay in place. Okay. You pay because you stay you in place. You can pay a bicycle. Yeah, but a bicycle. Uh, but yeah. I think but the problem is called Guta. It's, it, it's we can walk in the city because it's so dangerous. You can die when you go in with your feet. We need to improve this in the city, we politicians. We need to go in the street without danger. That's why I use rickshaw, because I don't want to die. But if I can walk, I, I walk to the shopper, but to the shopping. You can say if, if you use a rickshaw and uh, there are like a bus car coming or a bus, they will maybe there uh, will happen, uh, there is maybe an accident. Yeah. Maybe an accident. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah. so Mohammed, your your fault. your point was that um, if you were thinking about the health, uh, the health of the driver, the, the, or your the own, driver and, the, uh, and the passenger, the passenger, the passenger yeah. as well. Okay, guys, thank you. Really good points. Good points. Okay, I'm going to ask you just to pop over there, please, next to. Um, you can stay there. Okay. Thank you, guys. I want to just uh, have a look at a little bit of your language, and then we'll finish, okay? Um, so a lot of your sentences were beautiful, but some of your sentences had some mistakes, okay? I'm going to get the mistakes here. I want you to talk together. So could you talk together, please? Together and together. How can we correct these sentences?
Okay, talk together. What do you think? How can we correct that? I don't know. <laughs> Talk together. What do you think about the rest? No, you can just talk. Okay, let's get your ideas. Let's get your ideas. Okay, so um, Mohammed, can you do the first one? Your cat. Anything else here? Yes, yeah. With an S, right? A lot of rickshaws because we've got plural, okay? Um, Yazid, what do you think? No, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, R. R. I got it. Good it. Okay, and it's, what do you think? It's faster than. Taxis. Taxis. Yes. Okay, yes. okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. I decided to start the lesson with a gallery. Um, these were pictures of modes of transport, but unusual modes of transport, because I wanted them to be engaged in the topic. I wanted them to think about, you know, rickshaws. That I'm sure it's not something that they're familiar with as such. So I wanted them to think about different modes of transport around the world um, and just kind of have a gallery to start with so that it engaged them in the, in the lesson and the topic. I thought that the reading might be challenging for students because um, some of the, the texts in the course book are a little lengthy, but I really enjoyed the way that the, the course book itself, the tasks, are separated into paragraphs. So for example, task one, the gist task, was focused only on the first paragraph, the introduction. Um, the detailed task was two and three, and then the final task was focused only on four. So that helped the students because they were able to break the task down into smaller chunks and just focus on, on smaller areas, which is one of the reasons why I chose that text. I really enjoy using this particular course book because um, of its sort of world view, I think. And within my class, I like to look at the tasks themselves and think about how can I actually liven this up, how can I take it away from the page. I think sometimes it's necessary to uh, use the tasks on the page um, to really focus students on what they have to do. But I tried, for example, to lift out the introduction and particularly the gist task by eliciting um, the words that I wanted them to focus on through the pictures themselves. So, for example, um, we had highly populated, uh, we had polluted. These were all words within the gist task, but I wanted to make it more engaging. I didn't want them just to be focused task after task um, on the page. Uh, it was similar with the critical thinking task. I decided to put those quotes in speech bubbles just to make it more engaging for students. They weren't constantly sort of focused in on, on the course book page. So um, this is something that I always try to do. I look at each task individually and think, how can I lift it off the page to make it more engaging and interactive for students? I think the course book is, uh, as the teacher should be, a facilitator. So we're using the text, but as teachers we have that responsibility to actually uh, engage the students and um, liven it up, make sure that they are fully participating in the task, 
but not sort of following it methodically, as it were. I particularly felt that it was necessary, especially for lower levels, um, this pre-intermediate class, to scaffold the, um, the debate really carefully. So I decided to move students around so that they were sort of mixed abilities within their groups. And uh, so they brainstormed together the for and against. And uh, I did that because I felt it was necessary to have that planning time um, to decide on their ideas together it's not an individual task, that's definitely a group task. I gave them that planning time and after I gave them their roles and I moved them around to a, a bigger circle, I also gave them some thinking time about their roles and what they wanted to say. It's very important for lower levels with this kind of role play or debate to break it down and scaffold the task carefully. I uh, monitored while the students were within their discussion and I wrote down some of their sentences, some of their mispronunciations and it's important after that to feed back on the task, just get some general ideas about how they felt the debate went or what, what are their personal views um, and then we focused a little bit on the error correction. It's very important to use that opportunity to monitor unobtrusively and uh, get some of their errors, some of their good sentences as well, just so that they can start to analyze um, their own language at the end.